Number 68, we've come to the end at last. And it's a word problem, everybody's favorite, right? If a boat uses 21 gallons of gas to go 74 miles, how many gal uh, excuse me, how many miles can the boat travel on 63 gallons of gas? Well, this is going to be a proportion. We're going to set up a ratio here. And so what's important to remember with proportions or ratios is that you keep your units in check. So whatever units you put in your numerator, you have to be consistent. Whatever units you put in the denominator, you have to be consistent. And I think that'll make more sense here in a minute when you see this. So we're saying that a boat uses 21 gallons of gas to travel 74 miles. So I have gallons in the numerator, miles in the denominator, and we're saying how many miles can the boat travel on 63 gallons? So because gallons I had in the numerator, 63 gallons has to go in the second fraction's numerator. How many miles? Well, if we don't know something, how do we represent something we don't know? X, right? So X miles. All right, well, now we have one fraction equaling another fraction. We know what to do here, right? Let's go ahead and cross multiply. So we have 21 times x, so that gives us 21x equals 63 times 74. I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and why not pull up our trusty calculator here. So we have 63 times 74. It's going to give us 4662. And when we divide by 21 on both sides, we're going to have x equals 222 miles, I believe. But let's double check. 4662 divided by 21 gives us 222, 222 miles. And so there's the final answer. So a boat who travels uh, with 21 gallons can go 74 miles, but if they fill their gas tank up with 63 gallons, they can go a total of 222 miles, assuming that they are burning the same number of gallons per mile. But here we have uh, x equals 222 miles for number 68. All right, so that's the end of our practice final exam. I'm going to go ahead and do a uh, wrap-up video as always, so I'll say my, uh, my goodbyes there. But uh, best of luck on the final exam, and uh, I hope to see you uh, next semester having moved on to uh, either college algebra or stats, but uh, please don't be a stranger. Make sure you stop in and say hello to me in the uh, past lab on the Gardens campus um, or LL237, and I'd love to, love to hear how you're doing. All right, so there's number 68, uh, and as I said, I'll do a wrap-up video, and uh, so I'll see you there.